Hi everyone and welcome to my room tour. So I'm going to go straight on into it and this is the door where you walk in, so this is where my room tour starts and just to the side of my door, behind the door, I've got some pegs to hang up my kind of coats and bags and yeah I'm not 100% happy with this area, I am looking to change it but for now it works. And right next to my coat pegs is a sink area, so it's where I do my makeup, wash my face, etc. And everyone seems to think it's so weird that I have a sink in my room. And yes, I guess it is kind of weird that I've got a sink in my room, but that's just how it is. And it is really handy, so like I don't have to go upstairs to the bathroom to brush my teeth and things like that. And on the top I just keep brushes um, and kind of products that I use on a daily basis. So I've got vitamins there and hair bands and things like that. So underneath my sink is drawers and this is where I keep my products that I use every now and again. So in the first compartment I've got makeup and just cotton buds and things like that. The second compartment is more of a storage compartment. The trays in the middle are from Yuji and they stack up so there's more storage underneath that. And the last compartment is where I keep all my bath stuff. So I've got moisturiser, shampoo, conditioner, soap. So in the drawer underneath that one is more clothes area. It's where I keep my pyjamas. So this is my pyjama tops and next to it is my pyjama bottoms and lady things. And the last compartment, the messiest one of them all, is my underwear. <laughs> I do try and keep it organised but I've just got so much underwear it's just overflowing. And then underneath the drawers I've got an old battered crate kind of thing um, for my grandparents and in there I just keep clean bedding and towels. So right next to my sink is a mirror, full length mirror and it's just basically where I check out my outfits for the day and have a little look at what's going on in the morning, what disaster I've woke up to. And next to the mirror is a wired basket full of socks because I'm still not 100% sure what to do with socks. And then underneath that is a white box full of out of season clothes, so at the moment it's holding all my summer things. And then right onto my wardrobe area, um, it's not really a wardrobe, it's just a clothes rail and it's basically my wardrobe and underneath that is shoes. And so my clothes rail is from Ikea, the hangers are from Ikea, the shelf is from Ikea and I'm going to be saying Ikea a lot in this video. I'm just going to apologise now. I recently made this kind of photo string thing and I basically just use my um, Instax mini and clip them up on a piece of string and I really like it, I think it's really cool. So part of my clothes rail that I DIY'd is this shoe rack. Um, I need to paint it white still, but I basically just keep all the shoes that I wear on a daily basis. And at the moment, I've got very, very bland black boots because it's winter and I just want to stay warm. I'm also loving that pair of um, Adidas trainers as well. They're my favourite trainers to wear at the moment. So just above my clothes rail is a shelf. On the end I've got one of my favourite plants, it's called a string of hearts and I actually got it from like a plant swap from someone on Instagram. Next to it I've got my film, my Holger film um, and then I've got an Instax mini and then next to it in the background there's a picture and that was in the newspaper front from when I left the Netherlands and I just thought it was quite quirky, quite cool. It adds a little bit of pop of colour in my room so I thought I'd keep it up there for memory's sake as well. And then I've just got a range of books that some of them I've read, some of them I haven't. And then lastly for my wardrobe area, just down by the side is a basket full of hats, scarves, gloves and all warm cosy things. And that's my wardrobe area. So moving on round to my bed area and I'll start off with my bedside table. So my bedside table was handed down from my grandparents, it used to be my grandma's sewing box I think. And on there I've just got a plant from Ikea, a tissue box, um, some coasters that I DIY'd for when I have like hot teas in the evening and things like that. So onto my bed and my bedding at the moment is from Ikea, it's white with grey spots or you could turn it over and it'll be grey with white spots. The posters are from Designo, I hope I'm saying that right. And the cushions, they're a range of H&M um, and Ikea. And the white bedspread is from Ikea. And this area, I just like to keep it quite simple, quite minimal. So I just feel like it's kind of a place where my mind can relax and there's not too much going on. 
In the corner of my bed, I've got some fairy lights and I like to turn those on in the evening just to kind of calm me down and make the room appear more kind of zen now, I guess. <laughs> and one of the newest additions to my room is this rug. My room before used to be quite black and white and I've trying, I'm trying slowly but surely to add a bit more colour in. So as you can see, I've gone for like a navy kind of colour. I know it's not the brightest of colours, but yeah, it's a colour. And yeah, this rug is from Ikea. So moving on over to my windowsill, and as you can probably see, I'm obsessed with plants. I just think they're so amazing, pretty much. <laughs> I feel like they add a lot to a space. So my windowsill is absolutely full of them. I tend to keep succulents and cactus or cacti because I feel like they're easiest to look after. This one is my favourite cacti ever. It's bloody gorgeous. The colours on it are amazing. I'm also attempting to grow an avocado plant. Um, I just thought they looked really cute. And I guess if it does grow, I can have avocado on toast whenever I want. And then just hanging up in the window is a pineapple plant. And I DIY'd the plant hanger it was in, so if you'd like to see how I made it, just let me know in the comments section and I'll make a video on it. So at the end of my bed in the corner, I've just got a pile of books, colourful books, again to add a bit of colour in my room. And on top of them, I've got a motivational quote that says you have to believe in yourself, that's the secret. So right round to the other side of my room and we're now on to my desk area. Uh, this is where I do all my editing and where I just do my general life admin, I guess. The wire grid at the back was DIY'd by my dad and on there I've just got some Polaroid pictures. I just love to be reminded of memories and things like that. I've got a DIY terrarium that I made myself and then a printable calendar just so it's I can keep on top of my schedule. And as you can see, I don't have a very busy schedule at the moment. So on my desk, I have one of my favourite plants ever. It's called a ZZ plant. It's so easy to look after. Like if you have a shady room, definitely go for one of these. And at the moment it's grown a new bud. So I'm like, yes, super, super excited. Really happy with that. My desk is from Ikea. My chair is from eBay. My cushions from Ikea. And my desk also has a drawers on the side this was like an added extra um, so in the first drawer it's just one of those random drawers that everybody has and it's got kind of yeah random bits of bobs hole punches magazine cutouts my passport candles bits and bobs so in the second drawer is kind of like my camera drawer it's got chargers a selfie stick of course and film and then the Next one is hair, so I've got hair straighteners, hair curlers, I've also thrown my nail varnish in there at the moment because I don't know where else to put it. This drawer holds kind of my work clothes, so things that I don't really mind getting dirty as I work in a school so it can get quite messy. And then the last one is my makeup bag and workout clothes. that's what's in my drawers and the end of my room tour i really hope you enjoyed watching this room tour if you did don't forget oh my light um my light is from ebay it's one of those really kind of retro lights massive kind of things anyway i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe to see more videos from me yeah i'll see you in my next one ciao